guess who made a response? You guessed it! Hello everybody, it is your host, me, Daya, and today we're going to be talking about the most dumbass YouTuber I have ever seen ever since Jake Paul became a YouTuber. In fact, this person has got me so fucking aggravated that I legit wrote a script for this video. I've never done this in my entire life, so yeah, you know how this is going to get really, really bad. Now before this video starts, I'm going to say this. If you think that I am bullying her, or say she doesn't deserve it, shut the fuck up. This is the person who is so low tier scum that she fucking doxed the kid. She legit doxed the artist that she legit stole art from. This is top tier level scum right here, and she will be treated as such. So. Let's get on to the video, shall we? Yo, it's your girl Madame. Welcome back to a brand new video. This video isn't like my usual, so sorry that I'm not reacting to Hello Counselor or anything fancy. Um, I just want to talk and showcase some clips. I'm not sure how to make an introduction to this or even briefly describe what this video is, so I'm just gonna start talking. As you guys know recently that I was slandered and- You were slandered. Right. Sure you were! And if that's the case, then I, the Diamond Storm, is a normal person with straight A's and no disabilities. Newsflash, I'm not. And there's a lot of fabrications made against me, which really sucks, um, but I'm not losing sleep over it because it's the internet, and I see that as a sign of success because every big creator has gone through fabrication. So, obviously, I didn't lose sleep over it. Like, I didn't mind at first. Like, I just don't care about lies or, like, what the internet says. Like, if someone made up a story that I murdered someone, I literally could care less. You know, you are truly a heartless person. Like, Oh my fucking god. You give absolutely zero fucks about anyone, including your reputation, and about these lies that everyone or you so happenly tell them, they are far beyond lies, for which me and so many other YouTubers have so much proof on you that we can legit write a book. In fact, I think we should call it Top 10 things that you should not do, and you will be number one. Lord have mercy. But that's besides the point. So I hate the term clout chaser, but over time it's kind of become like a normal thing to say because they just exist everywhere. So there was a clout chaser slash habitual liar that lied about their life and occupation a lot and then lied about me, fabricated a story about me. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And while lying about someone does suck, I didn't really care at first because yeah, it didn't really affect my life or anything. It's just a liar on the internet. Who cares, right? Uh -huh. Muda, muda. It, it, it's been not even a minute, and you are giving me a headache. Okay, one thing I'm pointing out so I can stop saying this in this video. When she says, oh, she lied, or fabrications, just know that she's talking out of her ass. Well, most people do talk out of their asses when they get caught. I mean, Leafy did it. And a lot of other YouTubers did it, so... But I got an email from my fan fiber agent in regards to the art that I paid for. And he stated that the artist is trying to get my art off of my merch site because I apparently don't have permission to use it. Which really confused me because when I commissioned this artist, I asked them if it was for commercial use and they said yes and that's completely fine. And on top of that, this commission was for my commercial use. So I had to get all the screenshots of this artist sending me the art and then our conversation logs where we discuss the commercial use and that they're completely cool with it and how excited they were for their art to be on a merch site. On top of that, I had to provide screenshots of my PayPal transaction with this person because like I said, I paid for this art. The artist knew that it was for a merch site. They were excited about it going live and even said they wanted to purchase a hoodie for themselves when it went live. So I had to showcase. Hmm, that was on the 6th of July, so that was a while back. So my guess is she or he saw you pull that shit with whatever the fucker face was and was like, 
Hmm, maybe I don't want to be supporting a sociopathic spoiled brat. Which I give the our highest respect to the artist. Speaking of which, this bitch is the same person, and she's still using the artwork that she just not crediting the artist for, which is making her an art thief. So, go figure. Those screenshots on top of the PayPal transactions and be like, yo, this is my art, I paid for it commercial use, they knew it was on the site, and all of a sudden they're saying I don't have their permission when I paid for this art for my commercial use. With that being said, this is what I want to talk about. Habitual lying and the art community. There's been a lot of artists in my DMs that have told me they have left the community for, uh, I guess, like toxicity, like they would tell me their stories, and I can't keep up with every DM. I get a lot, but the amount of artists, I'm saying at least like 50 plus, maybe in the hundreds, because I can't check every fucking DM. But, like, so many have, like, told me they're so sorry and that this is why they left the community because they experienced the same thing. It's very toxic, apparently. And uh, I didn't really care because I'm not a part of that community, you know? Like, I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear, but, I mean, it's not really my business. I don't really, I don't know much about that community. But what I do know is it feels like every liar uh, tends to be an artist. It, it almost feels like for every ten artists, nine are a liar. Like, at this point, I associate... Uh, liars with being artists and I shouldn't but could you blame me <sighs> boy only I would like continue doing this nonsense but like I am so unbelievably <sighs> There's so much more, man. I, I, I can't take it, man. I just can't. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm done. This person... If I watch even one bit more of this, I'm going to have an aneurysm. And it's currently 3 o'clock in the fucking morning, and the last thing I fucking need is an aneurysm. In fact, the last thing I need is to be fucking yelling or having a fucking migraine. But we can't get things that we want in life. Like, the artist can't get a fucking respectful person to stop talking about their community when she's not even a part of it. I've been the Diamond Storm. You guys have been a lovely audience. If you want to watch this video, the link's in the description below. Don't forget to also subscribe to the Discord and all that other nonsense. And hold that bleach tight because you're definitely going to for the next episode. Bye!